these temporary screws out of here and put in something that is more permanent. So I'm using um, stainless steel socket head screws, you know, Allen head screws with some lock washers. So once I tighten it down, it should stay. Again, these screws are a little bit long. I might have to cut them off later. Or I might just leave them. We'll see. Okay, the main bracket and the radiating element bracket are attached. And the U bolt will go through like this. Again, lock washers. These have wing nuts to make it easy to tighten down by hand. Go ahead and put a, this aluminum rod in here as a demonstration element. Nice and secure. So now you can kind of see the whole arrangement here. I'll go ahead and put it on a pipe here in the vise to demonstrate what it would look like uh, when it's up in the air. Okay, so there's the, uh, the little mini antenna at this point. I don't know what frequency that this would work on. Centered up there so it looks like a regular dipole. Okay, that's what it would look like. So again, feed points here. We'll have a gamma tube out here once we get the rest of it built. So that's it for now. Okay, the next thing I have to do is cut the gamma tube. I'm just going to cut that with a hacksaw here. This aluminum tubing that I have is pretty soft. First thing I want to do is uh, file off the end of this tubing, make sure it's flat, and then also, actually I'll file it 
on the edge when I get it done, but I want to clean out the inside edge of this. Okay. And I'm just going to stick it in the vise here and cut it off to three and a half inches. It's going to be dependent on what the capacitance value of your setup is if you make one of these. The wire that you use inside will make a difference. So three and a half inches out there. Since this is so soft, I'm actually going to move it in a little closer. So I'm cutting as close to the vise as possible. Again, I'm using these rubber padded jaws to keep from bending this or scuffing it. Now I'm going to cut the edge off the outside edge of this tube. And deburr the inside edge that I just cut. There it is. Three and a half inches long on my particular setup. Next I'm going to cut this aluminum rod and it's going to be for two meters it's going to be 40 inches. I'll double check here. That's it. And then I'll just cut this off with a hacksaw. Okay, this is our radiating element. Again, just breaking the edges on this so that it's not as sharp. Okay, and there's only one other piece to make, and that's the strap that will hold the gamma tube to the radiating element. 